In this video, we will go over the proper procedure for cleaning and calibrating the pH and EC probes on the Blue Lab Pro controller. Every 30 days, the probes need to be cleaned and calibrated. In the bottom left corner of the controller, the pH cal lights by 4 and 7 will flash on and off to let you know that the probes need to be cleaned and calibrated. Start by making sure the Blue Lab Pro controller is in monitor mode. This is done by using the up and down arrows on the bottom right of the controller. Scroll up until the green indicator light beside monitor lights up. This keeps the controller from accidentally dosing based on the cleaning solution readings. The actual side of the controller will stay lit up and the required side of the controller will go dark. Now it is time to prepare the cleaning solution for the pH probe. Take a small plastic container and fill with fresh tap water. Add a few drops of pH probe cleaner to the water. Mix the water and pH probe cleaner together. Remove the pH probe from the sample pot and swirl in the water and pH probe cleaner, making sure not to knock the probe on the sides of the container as this may damage the probe. Now using a soft bristled toothbrush, gently brush the tip of the pH probe to remove any contaminants. Rinse well in fresh water to remove the pH probe cleaner from the probe and place back into the sample pot. To clean the EC probe, remove the EC probe from the sample pot and remove the shroud from the end of the probe. Place a few drops of conductivity probe cleaner on the probe face and rub vigorously with the chamois. Rinse well in fresh water to remove the conductivity probe cleaner from the face of the probe. Replace the shroud by firmly pressing it back onto the end of the probe and place the EC probe back into the sample pot. For calibration of the pH and EC probes, start with two small plastic containers. Fill one about halfway full with pH 7 calibration solution and fill the other half full with pH 4 calibration solution. Using the up and down arrows on the bottom right corner of the controller, scroll down until the LED light beside calibrate mode is lit. Remove the pH and EC probes from the sample pot. Place both probes into the pH 7 calibration solution. For calibration purposes, the EC probe detects the temperature of the calibration solution, which is crucial for accurate calibration. Always calibrate to pH 7 first and then to pH 4, otherwise calibration will fail. Once the actual reading of the calibration solution stabilizes, press and hold the arrow on the left hand side of the controller by pH actual reading. pH cal will pop up on the required side of the controller, release the arrow. On the required side of the controller, zeros will start to blink and the actual side of the controller will light up with pH 7, indicating that the probe is calibrating to the pH 7 calibration solution. Zeros will continue to light up on the required side until all four are solid. If calibration is successful, pass will flash briefly. If not, fail will flash. If fail pops up, inspect the probe for cracks. If the probe appears to be intact, re-clean and try the calibration process again. If it fails a second time, the probe likely needs to be replaced. Rinse both the pH and EC probe in clean water and gently shake to remove as much free water as possible. The green light by 7 in the pH cow box is solid green and the 4 is dark, indicating the probe is calibrated to 7 but not 4. Now place the pH and EC probe into the pH 4 calibration solution. Once the actual reading of the calibration solution stabilizes, press and hold the arrow on the left hand side of the controller by the pH actual reading. pH cow will pop up on the required side of the controller, release the arrow. On the required side of the controller, zeros will start blinking and the actual side of the controller will light up with pH 4, indicating that the probe is calibrating to the pH 4 calibration solution. 
Zeros will continue to light up on the required side until all four are solid. If calibration is successful, pass will flash briefly. Rinse both the pH and EC probe in clean water and place the pH probe back into the sample pot. For EC probe calibration, take a third small plastic container and fill about half full of 2.77 conductivity calibration solution. Place the EC probe into the 2.77 conductivity calibration solution. Press the arrow on the left hand side of the controller beside the actual conductivity display. Allow the actual reading to stabilize. You will see the conductivity calibration solution is 2.77, but the display only reads out one place value past the decimal point. So we round up to 2.8 for calibration. Using the arrows at the bottom center of the controller, we move the calibration setting to the required setting to have an actual value of 2.8. To save the settings, use the arrows at the bottom right hand corner of the controller to scroll down to control mode. Rinse the EC probe in fresh water and place back into the sample pot. Cleaning and calibrating your pH and EC probes every 30 days will help extend the longevity of your probes while also ensuring accurate readings of the nutrient solution.